Hello everybody, it's Andy here from A Media Games. As you can see in front of you right now on the screen, there is a sign saying locked and it's panning from right to left. So how do we create that? I'm going to run you through the full process that I use to make signs like this for sci-fi games, um, which are great. You could have like security checkpoint. Uh, locked, unlocked, you could have multiple textures, one red, one green, um, to stipulate between locked being red and open being green. Um, so yeah, so without further ado, let me jump in now and I'll show you how I created it. So the first piece of software that we're going to use is, of course, Blender, because it's free to use. Um, so let's delete this one. Oh, actually, we'll leave that there. We'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. So we're going to Blender now and we'll quickly create a model. So we're going to add in a mesh. Um, this isn't a tutorial of how to use Blender, but I'll try to give you the keys that I use. So Shift A, we're going to go to Mesh, Cube, and we're going to scale this down. So we want it more of a kind of a sign size, which will be probably about right. And then we want to uh, control A because we want to set rotation scale. We could have just done scale, but I always use rotation scale. It's easier. Um, <coughs> and then we're going to inset this face because we want to create the separate material, which is going to be on the face here. As you can see where it says locked, this is a separate part. Well, it's the same mesh, but it's a separate material ID. So let's open up uh, Blender again. I'm going to inset with I key and I'm going to move that in about there. And then we're going to extrude that in. So Alt and E and then extrude faces along normals. And we can move that in. So I have this nice kind of indented look. And next thing I'm going to do is we're going to delete this back face because I'll show you on this model. If we move this model forwards, you can see it's really good for performance. If you don't have geometry that doesn't need to be seen, you don't need faces there, so it doesn't need to draw them. Um, so let's pop that back. So in Blender, what we're going to do is we're going to delete this face. So we're going to select it, press X, and then delete face. This is not by any means a detailed model of a sign. So if anybody's like, oh, that sign's rubbish, I know, I'm aware. It's just a tutorial. Um, so in here, we're going to select these faces. We're going to control B to bevel. I'm going to add in a small bevel on that edge, just like so. And then we can grab these faces, press two for edge selection, alt and left click, and then G and X to move in. So we have less depth on that side, which is perfectly fine, just like so. So there we have a nice simple sign. So we're going to get some seam selection now so we can unwrap it. So we're going to press two, edge selection. We're going to select this one, this one, this one, and this one. So we've got those corner loops. And we're going to press uh, U and then mark seam. We're going to select this face. So press three and left click. Stop barking, dog please. Thank you. Um, and then we're going to press U and then we're going to mark seam. The dog's just barking because there's somebody at the door. Um, and then we're going to, let's have a look. I should, we should be good with that to be quite honest. Yeah. And then we're going to press A to select all. We're going to go to UV editing. We're going to press U and then we're going to uh, click on unwrap. So there we have our uh, model nicely unwrapped there using and utilizing as much space as we can in our UV grid or our UV square there. So that's done. Now what we need to do is go down to materials because we need this to be a separate material because we're going to be moving that one. What we need to do is we can do it a couple of ways. We could use the same material, but just for simplicity to keep it easy we're going to use a different one. So I'm going to select this face only. So free left click, click on new, 
call this one face, oops, face, and then we're going to assign, and then we're going to do the same again. Uh, click plus to add new material, click on new, and then we're going to name this one the uh, cover for the science cover. And then we're going to go to select, click invert. So now we have selected everything but the face because we've inverted our selection. So you can see here what we've selected. And we're going to click assign. And we're going to go and change the color here to a red. And then we could go to Z and then move the mouse down. We can see here that we have two different material IDs. So it will enable us then to edit the face material so we can move it. Okay, so that's done. I'm going to select our model, um, auto smooth, and then we're going to go to file, export, FBX. I'm going to call this one uh, sign tutorial, selected objects, and then click, excuse me, then click export. And then in Substance Painter, now I know this is not free software, this is just how I use, uh, sorry, what I use to paint, decorate, and create materials for my models. This will work on any software that you're using, um, as long as you have the ability to apply an emissive, uh, which you can do in Unreal as well. So we're going to go to File, New, uh, let's just do a nice 4K one, select Sign Tutorial, open and uh, that's all done and then click OK. So here we have the sign in front of us. You can see the back has no normal so it's just see-through because there's nothing there to, to render which is good. And then we're going to go to bake so this little picture of a croissant or we can press F8 which is the shortcut key. I'm going to set output size to 4K. This can all be edited and changed inside Unreal. Um, and then we're going to go to anti-aliasing super sampling set 16 so we have nice sharper edges and we'll do the same yeah that's all good and then click bake so you see nice detailed high resolution there on the uv grid which is perfect that's what we want so we'll then let that finish and then we'll go into painting or decorating this so we can use that in real I don't edit any of my videos so I can show the full process because sometimes when you watch a YouTube video and they all, all of a sudden it's kind of like skips a step ahead it might confuse people that are new to the software so everything is unedited apart from the coughs so if I cough I'll edit those out as much as I can so I'm gonna to go to return to painting and in here now we have our two layers which is our two material ids we've got cover and we've got face now that's exactly what we created in blender you can see here we have cover and we have face so with the cover one let's get rid of our base layer there we don't need those the cover one we're just going to go and use a simple already pre-made smart material because there's no point me sitting here making a material that i'm just going to use for a tutorial so i'm just going to drag this plastic glossy scuffed onto my sign so that's that done and then for this one here the face i'm going to go and click on face i'm going to go to add in a fill layer i'm going to go down to roughness and set that to one because we don't want it to be shiny uh, and then we're going to go to base color change that to black we're going to add a paint layer with a little paintbrush so add a layer we can paint with this one as like so and then we're going to go down, well actually no, we need to go to texture set settings, click on channels, and then emissive, so we've added that in, and if we scroll down now, we should see here we have emiss, which is just emissive, and then we can select the colour, so let's do a, do a different one to the other one, let's do it like a bright blue, we're going to copy, control C, and then on this one, base layer control V so now when we paint we have an emissive layer which is perfect so let's go to fonts so we're gonna go over here to alphas type in F O N T for font scroll up 
and we can see here we have our fonts. I'm going to select uh, maybe this one. Let's see. Yeah, I'll, that'll do. And we can go to our panel on the right. And if we scroll up, we can see here we have. Let's see if I can find it. I want size. There we go. Size space. I'm going to go viewport. So we have more control over its size. And then what we're going to do is let's go to bold. Let's go to size there. There we go. And then we can pop that into our sign where it says substance. So let's give it a, a word. Let's do um, open. Let's make it a bit bigger. And then let's pop that on. So we have a sign saying open. And that's pretty much done. So now we're going to go to file, export textures. Um, PBR metallic roughness. Now in here, I did edit this one in output templates. So if I go to PBR metallic roughness, you can see here I've added an emissive RGB. So you can search for it here and you can drag and drop this on. So you can add in your displacements, your diffuse, coat layers, base layers, anastropy, angle, ambient inclusion. So you can add all of this in here. So in your settings, go to output templates and then you can alter. So what you could do is you can create a copy and then you can add in the extra layers that you want to export to Unreal. So we're going to go to cover. I'm going to get rid of height and emissive. We're going to go to face. I'm going to get rid of height and then we're going to keep all of these. So it'll just look like this. And then output template, that's all fine. Global settings. Let's go to a file that we want to store it to. Uh, this one and then we're going to go right click new folder moving oops moving sign tutorial model so i know which one to delete and i'm going to select folder that's all good that's fine that's fine and then we can just export so we're going to click export now we're going to go into unreal and we're going to bring in the sign. So let's go back one folder. Actually, no, we'll put it in. Yeah, we'll put it here. So new folder, tutorial, mesh. And then we'll open that up. Import. Uh, we want documents. This one, sign tutorial, open, and then import. And if I drag that into the scene, you can see that we have the sign with the two layers on, two textures. Let's make that actually refine that size. We can pop that onto the wall just like this. Now we just need to add those materials. So let's go import. Let's go to desktop, blender work, move in sign, select all of those and then click open, drag all of them in like so. And then we go to cover. So in here, we can get rid of the default one. And then we just need to match these up. So we've got, uh, that's face. That is cover metallic. So that can go here, plug that into metallic like so. And then we have, let's have a look, uh, sign tutorial cover normal. So that goes in here, that goes into normal, just like so. And then we have sign tutorial cover base color so that's going to go up here and that's going to go into base color and then the last one we want is roughness which is this one sign tutorial cover roughness so that drag, drag and drop that in here and that goes into roughness and then we can click apply and if we check our model we can see uh, we have the material set up and currently being used now so we have this big face here that we can now put our emissive on so what we're going to do is open up face the material and we're going to connect everything up. So we want base color, which is this one. And we want a multiply, hold M and left click, hold uh, S and left click to get a parameter. And we're going to call this the emissive intensity. I'm going to plug that into B. 
we're going to get our emissive, which is this one here. So time tutorial face emissive. We're going to pop that there like so. So that's going to A. And that's going to get plugged into emissive just like this. And then we're going to move, let's move this up. Okay, next one, we're going to get our face roughness. There we go. I'm going to plug that into roughness. Let's move this down a little bit. We also want our metallic one. So we need metallic, um, face metallic, perfect. That goes into there. And the final one, last but not least, will be our normal, which will be this one here. So we've got sign tutorial face normal, and that's going to go into normal. I'm going to connect them all like this, so they're all on the left side. Now if we go into the level and click apply and then click save, let's set the value for our intensity to five and then click apply. And you can see here that we have a sign that says open and you can see that it's shiny. So how do we make this move just like this one? So what we wanna do in our, let's get rid of this and this and let's open the one we just made. So this is, this is what we just set up and laid out we want to look for a node called uh, Pana. So we're gonna go P-A-N-N, -N, and then we're gonna get coordinates, Pana, and then add that in. Now, you can't connect this like this because you'll get an error. So what you need to do is connect it into UV because we're altering the UV's location and it's sliding it across the screen. So it's UV space or screen space and then we're going to connect this into UV on each one of these, just so it all moves together and works better. And then we want to change speed for our angle. So let's click apply and let's do, let's show you with one, apply that and then go into the map. So you can see here it's moving very quickly, like so. So what we want to do is slow that down so let's do point two and click apply and you can see here now that we have a panning sign which look really good for adding extra detail to your level now you can adjust the size move this down like so and then you can put these above doors so all you do now in your door blueprint if the door is locked then it's going to be saying locked if the door is open, it's going to be saying open. So what you would do is you'd have material ID and then you would set the material. So you'd have two different materials, one, op one open, one locked, and then you're just going to set material by ID for the open when the door is open and set it material ID for when it's locked, for when, it, for when it's locked. Very simple to do, very easy, quite effective, um, adds a little bit more kind of ambience to your levels in your games so i hope it helps um if you like the video like it if you dislike it for any odd reason then dislike it not sure why you would and um, but yeah so consider helping the channel grow by subscribing to the channel it supports me for free and it enables me to continue to support you guys and provide even more tutorials in the future um you can join me over on discord where you can ask questions there there's a lot of people there willing to help everybody with different kind of abilities and talents so yeah, so stay tuned for more. I hope you liked the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.